What's up and welcome back to a brand new video. Today on this video, we're going to be talking about the FIFA 19 news there around pro clubs and career mode. Now, if you guys don't know, Gamescom, which is a convention that is going on right now and it happens every year. This year, it's actually in Germany and EA has, the, has their team over in Germany. They have their lead gameplay producer some game most of the most game changers are over there that got elected so congratulations to some of those uh, uh, members from the community that got elected uh, very deserved from all of them and of course they have the community managers as well um, if you guys know them from from Twitter most of them are very active on Twitter um, but the news just broke out that GameSpot just interviewed EA today uh, about what is to come what is to come to the, for the final edition of the game uh, of FIFA 19 and uh, pretty much an article just came out from GameSpot. We're going to read that article. I'm going to give you guys a summary and pretty much we're going to talk about it. Make sure you guys put any comments you have in the in, in the comment section below. And don't forget to thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's jump it right into this. Um, of course, EA is always putting their stuff on their uh, Twitter page, so make sure you guys check that out. Any news about the game is here. Of course, there's nothing about pro clubs. There's nothing about career mode. It's mainly journey and stuff like that. So I just 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 so you have news that some stuff are in there that you can check out. Um, and pretty much here's the summary of the whole interview and the article that I read. So for pro clubs, there's gonna not gonna be Champions League as of right now. That is the only thing we have for pro clubs. But we'll read the article and we'll discuss more about it. Career mode. There's three new features that are gonna be doing. There's gonna be locker locker room cutscenes. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool, I guess. Um, and that's gonna be ultimate difficulty. So. Ultimate difficulty was only possible in Ultimate Team, so now it is on career mode. Um, so it goes above Legendary. That is something that Paz has. Uh, Paz does have Ultimate Team, uh, Ultimate difficulty. Uh, it's called uh, Legend difficulty. It's even harder than what Legendary would be in FIFA. But again, that is something that is new to career mode, and I guess you, it will it will make some difference in gameplay, but nothing else. Um, and the other big one, I guess, is the star above your club if you win the uh, the Champions League. Now, of course, if you're going for Real Madrid, they already, I don't know how many they have, but as many, I'm guessing as many times you win the Champions League, you get a star on top of your head. So I'm guessing if you go three seasons, we win the, the, the Champions League three seasons in a row or something like that, or even win it three times, you're going to get three stars on top of your head. Now, it's going to be very interesting for to see someone play Korea mode and win 15 Champions League title and see how many they're going to stop. That's going to be very funny uh, meme to see on that. But other than that, that's pretty much the changes. We'll go into the article right now and we'll pretty much go through it step by step on some of the parts they're talking about. So pretty much the guy that was interviewed, his name is Sam Rivera. He is the lead gameplay producer for EA. Um, and pretty much the GameSpot pretty much interviewed him. And uh, he said, in terms of career mode, uh, we decided to make sure the experience was all about Champions League. So of course, that's all they focused on in career mode. Uh, to make it as realistic as possible and then they he also said that we are listening to our fans and they've been requesting more stuff bigger stuff yes a lot bigger stuff not these little tweaks but it is what it is um, in terms of career mode and in terms of pro clubs i like how they put and in in kind of like brackets and yes we're listening to you pro clubs player i don't know we'll see we'll see it's been eight years nine years um so we're gonna keep waiting and, and, and we'll see what happens and then they go there is this guy he goes there is discussion right now to see what we can bring for the future so that's this is one of the things that I'm talking about um, if if you are with the hashtag fix pro clubs EA keep pushing it guys it doesn't have to be for FIFA 19 and yes FIFA 8 FIFA 19 is when people are talking the most because it hasn't really done much and people really expected EA to step it up from 18 to 19 because they did bring some good changes to 18 and then not do changes from 19 and focus on gameplay which should be focused on every year should not be lacked just because it is, they have to focus on gameplay that should not lack innovation and feature to the game mode um, I'm losing track but let's focus back again he said at the moment there is uh, that's all we're announcing for those modes. We are actively having conversation, listening to the community. Again, aim brackets, listening to the community. Uh, I don't know. We'll see um, to see what we can bring to those modes. So again, they are listening as, as, as Sam Rivera has said on this interview. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if VA is really listening for FIFA 20, I guess, is really if it's going to be a really big one, in my opinion, for them to see if they bring changes to career mode or pro clubs. If they don't, uh, they're going to lose a lot of, uh, of people, um, especially people that really focus on those two modes. And there's a lot of people that play those two modes. And those people that only buy pro clubs like myself, buy FIFA to only play pro clubs. There's people that play a lot of career mode. A lot of YouTubers that play a lot of career modes. It's going to be interesting. 
to see. Um, and then following the interview, GameSpot was able to reach out again and talk about the the, the stuff that they're going to be adding. Again, ultimate career mode, ultimate difficulty for career mode. Uh, you get uh, a, a star on top of your uh, your club if you win the Champions League. But other than that, there is no new features of any kind were mentioned for pro clubs. Nothing at all. Pretty much that is it, guys. That is it on this article. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm, I'm already getting over the top with the news. I'm getting too much already fed up with this. Uh, but we all know that. I hope you guys were not expecting it. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting something drastically to change for FIFA 19 from the beta to FIFA 19, the final edition. Because the push that everyone's doing, Fix Pro Clubs EA, is for the future. Again, it happens. It is what it is. We can only go from here. Um, but we'll see. Maybe they change something. Maybe they haven't said anything. Maybe they change something. The hope is still there. But again, FIFA 20 is going to be a very one, a very big one for EA. And they, hopefully they step up the game big time because it's going to be needed. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave your comment in the section in the comment section below. And again, have a good one. Stay positive, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Yeah.